What's up YouTube, buddy? ST General back again with another Emerge NYC tutorial. Uh, last time we talked about the engine, so this time we're going to be talking about truck companies. Uh, just like in the last video, we will start off by going over the tools available on the truck and then uh, going over some of its operations and uses and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So uh, right now, first compartment we have, you see some spare SCBA. Uh, and uh, PPE. Now, right now, this isn't usable. Hopefully, in the future, this will be a uh, a refillable area for your uh, SCBA tanks or something like that. But uh, as of right now, you don't have to worry about that because obviously, when you run out of SCB or out of uh, air right now, you don't actually uh, lose health or anything like is planned in the future. Uh, over here in this next compartment, we have our uh, Halligan once again. Uh, this is a very important tool, even more so for the truck company than the uh, than the engine company, uh, because one of your primary functions will be ventilation and then uh, you know forcible entry to go in and do like primary searches for uh, you know injured civilians and stuff like that. So it's really awesome to have this tool for the uh, for the truck company, you know, for for some of the same reasons and more than the uh, the engine company. Uh, we've got a generator down there which cannot be used. Um, this uh, compartment also has no functionality. Ooh, it's getting kind of buggy there. This might go flying off on me. Uh, in here we have a uh, K12 and a, uh, a chainsaw. The chainsaw is uh, no purpose currently. Now if I can get in here, this K12 does not want to be picked up. I might need to find a different one on here, see if there's a second one somewhere. If not, there's another one up on the roof. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Uh, back here we've got some road cones and uh, a ventilation fan. Uh, currently neither of these can be picked up. Uh, eventually the ventilation fan will probably be one of the next items into the uh, into the game. Uh, basically that's just used for just what it sounds like ventilating a building so you can kind of uh, control the flow of air in a certain direction to uh, better ventilate it. Uh, as we go around to the back here, you'll notice we have a, uh, a number of uh, different ladders and stuff. So as I open this, you can see on the left-hand side, it's kind of uh, intermixed with the uh, the current control menu. But basically, uh, it says, you know, press 1 for 12-foot uh, extension, 2 for 35-foot, uh, 3 for 20-foot straight ladder, and uh, 4 for 10-foot straight ladder. So you basically, these are uh, portable ladders like are found on the engine, but you get a little bit more variety back here. Uh, and then these are just nice even though you've got a giant ladder there these are nice for your personnel to either like take up on the building where you can't get uh, you know your other ladder ev like even further up or to uh, to make more you know entry points so if you need to uh, get a guy out of a building really fast and you can't necessarily uh, move the uh, move the actual turntable ladder that's a, a good way of going about it is getting that uh, we've got a, a second ventilation fan and what appears to possibly be a jump bag or something that's rolled up. Uh, that I'm not sure about what that actually is for sure, but uh, hopefully that'll be like a jump bag that we can use in the future. Uh, here we've got another chainsaw and then uh, we've got some extrication tools over here. Uh, so most of the stuff on this rig is currently unusable. There's a lot less usable stuff than you'll find on the engine. Uh, we do have a couple of fire extinguishers here, so this works just like in the other one. You right-click to aim, it's got limited supply. Uh, this is a water extinguisher uh, in particular. And uh, another empty compartment. So in order to actually operate this thing, let's go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll close up most of these doors, if not all of them. This is going to be a little bit uh, trickier than... Some with the uh, the engine with a lot of these doors being kind of so close together. In fact, there's some clipping right there. Okay, well, you know what? We, we probably don't need to close all these, but we'll get most of them closed. Oh, now we're opening doors. Yeah, and then uh, oh, there's there's actually another tool, not in quite yet, but uh, a pike pole. Uh, this will be used for basically clearing out uh, like walls and stuff inside of a building or you'll be able to use that to uh, to help ventilate a building later on and clear out some of that debris. Let's see here. So uh, basically in order to operate the ladder, these controls are in a little bit different spot on each apparatus, but uh, usually there's a control point and the first thing you'll need to do is uh, you'll need to set out your outriggers. 
Uh, the outrigger's purpose is to stabilize the apparatus. So you can see right here in the bottom, I want to just go into first person here, outriggers, it gives me the uh, the controls for them here. Um, and then basically it just it shows me how to work them in. It is a little bit different on each apparatus, how these basically work. So uh, we've got the one arrow key here on the on the right side that's bringing them out like that. So in this one, uh, they go out and then you have to use the left uh, left arrow key there to bring them down. On the tower in the background there, all you have to do is press the right key and it uh, puts them into position just like that. So uh, we're now stabilized. It uh, lifts the truck off the ground and uh, it makes it stable to use the ladder. So let's go ahead and climb up here. Uh, cool thing about the ladder is that you've got the controls just right there next to you and you can press X to hide it and that's actually broken as it turns out. But uh, you've got the, the controls right there just to, to help guide you through with this. So you can just swing it around using the controls uh, noted on the screen there. And uh, we're going to just extend that out here. So one thing that you're going to experience while uh, using the, uh, the ladders is that your uh, alarm is going to go off your pass device. So you just press tab to uh, silence that. So you're going to press C to climb up this ladder here. So as you can see, we've got our uh, tool in hand and uh, you know we're ready to climb this ladder. Now uh, I already started, I just wanted to check something because I was trying to ventilate a building before and I needed an actual emergency to do this. So I had my K-12 and stuff up here ready to go. So we've got a uh, the K-12 right here now. So let's go ahead and get this in hand. And uh, as you can see, it's just a giant saw. Oop, clicked out, that won't work. Uh, it's a giant saw holding down the right mouse button and kind of primes it up. And then the left mouse button names it. So let's, uh, let's see if we can still continue to ventilate this even though there's no fire going on. Uh, so the only downside to vertical ventilation is there's currently not much indicator that you're actually vertically ventilating a building until the cuts start to appear. Um, this is taking a little bit longer than it probably should for that to appear. So I'm guessing we'll probably need that fire uh, going. So let's go ahead and let's start the uh, taxpayer fire here. And let's see if that will uh, if that'll get this cut going. Oh, yeah. So you can see there's actually uh, it's interestingly enough it's cutting in a new place. It's actually cutting right where I'm sitting, so I'm cutting around myself right now. Um, so I should probably move here. I have not tested if you if you can fall through because right now, as far as I can tell, it's just uh, it's not actually cutting into the building. It's kind of creating like a new design in there to make it look like it's cut into the building. So, you know, it just it's cut in there, you know, and then we uh, poke holes in here a little bit further. But the, basically, this just gives the uh, the fire the opportunity to uh, to kind of clear out some. Now, I want to try to cut a little bit further here. Uh, I don't know if it'll cut through this lower section or not anymore. But basically, this just like I said gives the the building a chance to clear out some of the smoke vertically. Um, it allows you the opportunity to uh, to see in the fire a little bit better and get in there and uh, do a little bit more damage to it. Now this uh, this fire literally just got started, so it hasn't had much time to uh, to burn. So let's go ahead and uh, hop in here. Uh, so actually, you know, do we have any windows around here? That would be a really great opportunity. Uh, just with certain windows, I've noticed that if you press F, you can actually uh, climb through the window. But obviously, I don't have any right now to show you guys. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to grab this ladder. So uh, to go grab portable ladder, you get the uh, controls right there as you go to grab it. Oh, you can see we've got uh, smoke, or smoke pouring out below us. Uh, but we've grabbed this portable ladder. Now this is really awesome is that you can actually oop, climb. Yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> we wouldn't do that probably. But uh, you can actually climb a ladder with another ladder. So uh, this ladder was a bit short for the purpose of getting up to that higher elevation area. But if I had like a extension ladder with me, like the 35 foot I've got set up right there, uh, we could have absolutely gotten on top of that. So we're just gonna we're gonna drop that right there. They kind of bugged out as I got down. Uh, it's a little bit safer to use it with the uh, standard extension ladders here. And this fire is really starting to get going now. You can see the uh, the smoke is starting to pour out. Now, normally we would be going to uh, 
rescue that guy right on the stairs there, but, uh, you know, for the purposes of this uh, demonstration, we're not going to be doing that. Um, so we've got the, uh, the extension ladders here. Now, just like a normal ladder, I might have to end this, it's starting to drop the frames, but no, just like a normal ladder, you press F to deploy this. But with the extension ladder, you can use Q and E to uh, extend and retract this ladder. Uh, this is probably going to fall backwards with the angle it's at, but you press F to drop down. Oh, actually, no, that works perfect. It's a little bit high, but uh, once again, it serves the purpose that I needed it to. So let's go ahead. Let's uh, let's try to get this fire knocked out, or at least knocked down. Probably not knocked out completely. Um, I'm going to want something a little bit heavier. I've got my engine here, but, uh, you know, we're a truck company. We don't we're gonna go in with that hose. we got our own stuff. So let's go ahead and get this cut open. So... Uh, the nice thing is, is that while you can't, uh, well, you can't see on the roof ventilation really where you're cutting at first. When you're actually cutting these locks on these rolling doors, you actually get sparks to indicate that you are actually uh, cutting through it, and it does open up like that eventually. Um, so unfortunately, with these rolling doors, um, there's just a normal door behind it, so that door is actually locked too. So we need to get this door open. There's fire coming out of there as we open it up. Um, smoke is starting to ventilate out. So yeah, this uh, this taxpayer fire is one of the bigger fires in the academy. So uh, once again, we're probably gonna have to stop this pretty soon and uh, actually like just show how this works. But uh, you know what? Yeah, let's actually we're gonna clear this up right now because it's it's dropping pretty quick. I don't want to try to contend with trying to get it cleared out with like one frame or something. Um, the, the game is a lot better, but when I've got my recording equipment going and stuff too, and a large fire like that, it's uh, it's still pretty laggy. So let's go ahead. We're going to climb up here in just a second. But uh, we've got the tower ladder here. Now, the tower ladder has a, a deck gun or a nozzle up there, just like the uh, deck gun on the, uh, on the engine there. Uh, basically the same premise. You go and you press F to get in the bucket, and it works by the same controls as the deck gun, which is the arrow keys and stuff. And um, it won't work though unless you've got water going to it. So you actually need your, your engine hooked up. So you're going to want your engine hooked up just like I showed in the previous video. So you want uh, inlet connected to a, a hydrant. And then you'll need another hose from the engine or from wherever hooked up from the engine to the uh, tower ladder to actually supply water and pump it through to the tower ladder. Uh, so you'll need to actually have your engine running and all that stuff set up. Now with the uh, with the tower ladder, there's two connection points uh, on each side, just right behind the cab here. So there's the uh, the one there, and then here is the uh, the other one here. You can see there's a couple of connection points right there actually. And then on this one, this happens to be the uh, the place you control the outriggers, which are already in a down state, as you guys can see. Uh, you can also see that the uh, the compartments are a little bit different on this rig. So. Well, you know, all the engines are unique. It's even more so the case with uh, with the ladders and stuff here. So that's just something to be aware of as you're using these. So let's go ahead. We're going to enter into the bucket. Uh, this operates by the same uh, control principles as the standard ladders. You can control this either from this location or from the control box down at the base of the ladder behind me. Uh, you can kind of see it from here. It's a little bit difficult from this angle to really get a proper idea. But um, yeah, so this uses uh, W, A, S, and D, and then uh, Q and E to extend out and retract. But uh, this is really awesome. So if we had this fire going and, uh, you know, we were, we were in a little bit different position. Actually, it looks like some of that fire might still be going. Yeah, there's, uh, there's fire spitting through on the roof there, so we'll have to go and check that out maybe. But we've got that fire there. Uh, you know, I've got this... Uh, Got this Halligan in my hand. Probably not the greatest tool to have on hand like this because he's going to keep swinging it every time I click that button. But, you know, we can sit there and now we just uh, we hold down the mouse button and it's now spraying uh, our deck gun. So we can hit this fire from the roof. You know, we can keep the roof cooled down. Or, uh, you know, we could get up and now we can shoot through this window. Or if we've got victims on the roof, you know, the, it works just kind of like the same thing as a normal ladder. You just get up there get right here on the roof a little bit of clipping there but now your uh, your victims or your firefighters can get right into the bucket with you and uh you get up and do your thing or you know you can take a firefighter up to the roof now this one doesn't have quite a long a ladder as uh i say the tiller or even the standard 
uh, truck there, but it does have a hose, so it's really cool anyways. So let's uh, let's go ahead and head back down here. Now I think that's uh, that's about everything for the truck company. Now uh, bear in mind that a lot of that stuff is still going to be implemented, and then as more stuff gets implemented, the truck company will have even more toys at its disposal to uh, to use. Because right now a lot of their stuff is uh, kind of rescue operations, which are uh, unnecessary at this point in time with any sort of uh, civilians lacking in the game. Uh, all you got is training dummies. Um, but like I said, the next big thing you'll see with the truck company is the ventilation fan. Uh, you know, but you just go in and you know get your dummies out, do your primary search here, which, who boy, camera. So, as you just start dragging him, you know, you get your victim out. Uh, it's a little bit limiting, obviously. The camera needs to be really uh, fixed on that first person here so that you can actually do this a little bit more feasibly in those enclosed spaces. I'm just gonna we're gonna take a peek inside real quick here. I just wanna see if uh if there's something going on with this fire. Well it's clear in here and this is I believe the room the fire actually starts in. Let's Let's go through here. I just want to check because the cut is somewhere around in here on the roof. So I think that might just be a bug because obviously there's nothing going on in here right now. Um, but yeah, that is the uh, the truck company tutorial. You know, like I said, there's uh, some interesting stuff with it to be sure. Uh, you know, obviously the tiller is a little bit different, and maybe I'll do a special tutorial for the tiller here regarding its controls and operations. Um, you know, but uh, yeah, basically once again, uh, primary functions are uh, ventilation and, you know, uh, search and rescue and stuff like that. So getting the building cleared out is essentially what it comes down to. So that's what its tools are based around. You've got your Halligan, your K-12. Um, you know, there isn't any sort of attack lines. There's no hose that comes on this thing. Um, you know, you've got pike poles. The closest thing you've got to fire extinguishing equipment built onto the, or uh, that you can actually carry with you is your uh, extinguisher. Uh, you know, so that is the that's the primary function of the truck company. Uh, you know, obviously this uh, this will kind of change as stuff is added and uh, you get extrication equipment and stuff like that. But uh, let me know what you guys saw this video in the comments below. Uh, was there anything I missed? Anything else you guys wanted to know that I didn't talk about in this video? And uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.